Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I have for you a a Kershaw uh, shuffle to demo and also uh, let's talk a little bit about the the development of the the knife. So uh, firstly at this point probably you you know that uh, Kershaw released firstly the shuffle one it was a very uh, very great uh, successful uh, a knife for them and it featured a really nice compact uh, compact uh, size so 5.6 inches and they have produced it in, in uh, in different kinds of finishes and, and also colors. Uh, being the, the first, this was the first variant, had some problems because of the nature of the blade finish and also the steel. So this had the, uh, some have 5 and some have 8 CR13 MOE and be blasted finish which was uh, complete uh, rust magnet. After then they released uh, the second generation which was the the black wash edition and after a year and a year and a half uh, they released a shuffle 2. So uh, they released uh, two uh, two of them, only two of them and only in one blade finish. So this is the Shuffle 2 Black Wash uh, in black and tan. So you, you get a really nice sturdy box, all our informations, yes, all are made in China, we know that. So this is the the shuffle two. Just for a quick comparison, as you can see, the original one uh, was fully opened, five point six inches, and the shuffle two fully opened 6 inches so a little bit uh, larger but really great in hand especially for a big hand this was also good as you can see the pinky is not used so uh, yes first and foremost they skipped uh, the bead blasted uh, uh, finish because obviously they learned that uh, for ADC knife bead blaster finish is completely useless. Uh, secondly, they give you a acid black wash, which is great because uh, it will diminish the the rust uh, development of the on the on the blade. Secondly, I don't know why but they uh, give you only a Tento blade version and only one position let's say skippable both sides but only one position which is tip down uh, in my opinion I would love to to see the pocket clip somewhere here but maybe because uh, they didn't want to the knife to stick out so much, they completely uh, neglected the the position of the pocket clip being tip up. I don't know why. Probably is, it is only preference. I love to uh, to carry my knives uh, tip up, not tip down. 
because if for some reason the knife would open you will horribly cut yourself inside your pocket but uh, I just keep that uh, as a thought out there okay obviously uh, the same uh, features are preserved so you have now on both sides a cap lifter maybe not so uh, not so uh, easy to to use like on this one but it is there and also the screwdriver or or uh, pry bar also um, this portion uh, can be used also as a lanyard so you can completely dismount demount dismount the pocket clip and use it on a lanyard like I'm using my shuffle one uh, I must say that the centering on this one let's see the black one on the black one is, is much better I have used this one but out of the box they are perfectly smooth not like the first one the first one will not budge you have to apply pressure and use your finger and also the second generation is the same so they have a much uh, bigger detent ball probably therefore but uh, the quick deployment functions and keep in mind this is a manual opening knife I see mm, two washers but I can I can see what material I would say they are nylon because of the price point So, uh, yes, only for me only downside is the pocket clip and uh, that's all. I, I prefer to have a, uh, a nice belly on my EDC knives, but uh, Tanto is also useful. And uh, let's be uh, realistic, if you want, you can just straighten this up and you have a belly will take probably a little of sharpening on a stone or if you have a angle sharpener but you can do it with no problems or if you have a uh, have a, some kind of of, of uh, quick sharpening uh, electronic sharpener you can also use it to save time but in my opinion a really great uh, design improvement Obviously, because of the size, it is a much better size for a big hand. But both of them are great options. So, if you're looking for a small uh, EDC, uh, look no further. This is a great, uh, great option for you. All of them are made in China as of current. 2017 but uh, that will probably not change in the future because these are a budget line of knives uh, from Kershaw okay so thanks for watching and as always have a nice day bye